Standing by with the victorious Kenyan coach. Uh, coach, uh, a nervy few moments for you, but you, you pulled it through. How do you feel about that performance? Yeah, well, obviously, we're very, very smiley at the moment. We're a little bit worried right towards the end, and obviously, we had to play a lot of footy to actually get in front in the end. So, could have gone either way. We're obviously delighted the way it went. Credit to this Moroccan side as well. They've turned up to this competition, only promoted last year, but uh, they certainly have good quality in their side as well. Oh, absolutely. I mean, they've got big, strong players. They're direct. They're obviously well organised. They know what they want to do. And uh, we knew what we had to deal with, and on lots of occasions we weren't good enough to deal with it. Next weekend, another big one as uh, you take on Zimbabwe. Things that you need to address in this upcoming week? We haven't got a week won't be long enough to address it all. But uh, there's certain things that we'll, I'm sure we'll improve on. Uh, we're pretty happy. We haven't had a warm-up game. And so that was our first game, really. So we'll hopefully get better next week. Congratulations on the win, coach. Thank you very much. Victorious uh, Kenyan coach there. And now we have the victorious Kenyan captain as well, Davis uh, Chenge. Uh, Davis, uh, a nervy few moments for you out there as well, but you managed to pull it through. What did you say to your players to keep them calm, especially in those final five minutes when Morocco kept coming at you? Uh, I just told them to keep cool heads, uh, stay to the systems, don't uh, go on their own uh, missions, stay as a unit and be able to get a victory. And you are able to do that. You started the game very well with that opening score, but it seemed like you went back into your shell a little bit. Uh, what went wrong during that uh, first half? I think uh, a couple of errors uh, to, uh, towards the middle of the game, and also uh, the Morocco came hard at, hard at us, put us under pressure, forced, forced a lot of mistakes uh, in our sides, which a, lot, a little bit uh, affected us, but we were able to rise above it in the second half. And, the victory. You came to Morocco looking for the four points, uh, looking for the win to keep the hope of going to uh, Japan next year alive. Uh, what other areas do you need to address to continue making a statement here and uh, to be able to lift your the trophy and, and go to Japan next year? I think we, we haven't done pretty well in the set pieces. They were a little bit let, of a let, out, let down for us. We need to uh, polish that and I think uh, we'll be able to get through to the World Cup. Thank you very much. Uh, well done today and good luck with the rest of the tournament. Okay, thank you. Now we are standing by with the Moroccan uh, skipper and uh, unfortunately the results not going your way today. Uh, what went wrong out on the field today? Voilà, on, a, on fait beaucoup d'erreurs sur des petits détails. On sait que les Kenyans, euh, voilà, il suffit qu'un ballon perdu, euh, ça attaque directement. Ça joue très rapide. On les voit à 7 comment ils jouent, sur des offloads, sur euh, plusieurs choses. Et voilà, ça, voilà, ils ont gagné le match par rapport à plusieurs euh, petits détails. Euh, disons qu'on leur, leur donne le match, voilà. OK, so we say that there is a loser and there is a winner. Today we, we lose, but uh, in our head we are, uh, we are a winner. Uh, we make a lot of mistakes in this game. This is why we we lose this match. Okay, so it was a great game. Sorry. Uh, it, it, was, it was a great game, hard game, with a lot of game, but we lose. So we will prepare the next game. The most, the most, uh, the most, the most, uh, the, the well possibly, please. Thank you very much. Hard luck today and good luck with the rest of the tournament. And uh, that is it from here in Casablanca. The news here is that Kenya have started their campaign on a winning note. And uh, make sure that you stay tuned into Queer Sports and join us for the rest.